Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. You probably notice things are a little different from last episode. Yeah, I've been earning money, lots of groshen, uh, doing both legal and not so legal things to get money, and I upgraded the town a bit. Um, I wasn't going to do it while I was gathering money, but... Every day that went by, I was just losing Groshin time and time again. So, what I did was I upgraded enough so that the village now actually is in the black, as you see. There's still a lot of things I have to do. I haven't touched the church. I haven't really done anything. Um, but I will walk you through what all I did so far. Uh, and this is what I had to do in order to get into the black. So I upgraded the rot house that I'm in right now. This is the whole the whole thing, which I'm sure you notice is bigger than it was before. Uh, there's our guy. This is obviously bigger. We've seen the last time it was one of those things where the kitchen and stuff was on this side and there was two small rooms over here. It's now obviously a lot different. Oh. You know, it's the first time I actually noticed this, but there is an actual legit chimney. I sat here and looked at this going, where's the smoke going? Well, right up there. That's really cool. That's actually really cool, to be honest. Now we've got a second floor where some more people are. And this is, of course, my room and his room at the moment. There's three men who now sleep in here. Uh, me, the custodian and I'm gonna just pretend he's my honor guard but here's the house uh, on top of that I extended it out <clears throat> meaning that I added in the additions which include a alchemy bench and a ooh flowers and a herb garden now and the herb garden has a lot of good stuff in it uh, mint thistle uh, almost Almost all the plants now grow in our herb garden. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Like, here's marigold. Uh, there's some poppy in here. Uh, we picked up mint, thistle, St. John's wort. So we got that. Let's see what else. I know there, there's some more mint. Yay. Uh, there's some more thistle. Uh, ooh, sage. Got sage. That's always a plus. Um, comfrey. That's nice, because that's always difficult for me to find. I never can seem to find it. Uh, more sage. Another poppy. Um, I feel like... Oh, wait, wait. this is Belladonna. Um, okay. And I think here's Wormwood. Yep, Wormwood. The only ones that I don't think I see is that Valerian or whatever it's called and I don't see her Paris uh, that's about the only thing that doesn't seem to grow in my garden right now so uh, those are still rare herbs I got a little chest over here which is now where I store all of my alchemy ingredients that in there. You notice I have 54,000 Groshin. And actually, I've already spent a good bit of Groshin upgrading different things. And I'll maybe show people how I do that. Thank you. So, the Rot House is expanded. Then, I also expanded a few other villages. You'll see if I look over the hill, there's things now. Um... First one, I, I don't remember if I did this on stream or not, or on video or not last time. But here is, I think I maybe I did, but in case I didn't, uh, I added in the butcher shop rather than the mill. So I got a full butcher shop and smokehouse. What? And then coming down this main road a bit more. Do, 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 do. I made a blacksmith and I upgraded there were two options to upgrade you can make it armor or sword smith I made it or a weapon smith I made it a, a weapon smith so you know we got a forge and a weapon smith and that generates some income as well we've got our merchant which I don't think I upgraded anything on there um, 
but you'll probably notice right over here this this whole area the barn all of this this is all part of one thing and that would be right here the stables I had the option of doing a stables or a guardhouse, and I decided to do a stable. Main reason for doing that is because Townberg is close by, so should I need support, Townberg would be there. Um, heh, I like those pictures. It's kind of interesting when I look at it. Um, so, yeah. And I also, of course, upgraded the saddles, so they make saddles, saddlers in there. Uh, so that is now upgrading all of uh, this. <clears throat> that has now pushed me into the positive. So every day I now make about 500 Groshen from the village itself. So that's a plus. And I, and I wanted to do that while I was farming all this money. Because if I didn't, I would just be wasting money. I'd have to keep money in here so they didn't get upset and they didn't leave. But then it was dripping down every single day so what i'm gonna do now they already made 900 i'm gonna put in all the money that i have minus maybe like a thousand um there all right let's go talk to our our gent here and see what else we can do oh let's see so, how am i doing with the village Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. The village is big enough now. Sir Divish can bring in more people if he wants, and start expanding as he was planning. I see the church is keeping the rain out at least. It still needs work, though. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right. I'll get stuck in. Well, that's what we're here for. All right, let's see I what we can build. build. Something. Certainly. Master Bailiff, what's it to be? Let's see. Let's do a building on the outskirts. We're going to do a tavern. Look, we don't have a tavern here yet. People need to wash the dust down after a hard day's work. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building so they don't botch anything. All right. <clears throat> I got to follow this guy outside. Curious where we're going to build the tavern. <clears throat> I know this will actually add to my income as well. So, I mean, at this point, the village is not a, a hindrance anymore. It's not a huge benefit, but it's not a hindrance. Oh, we're going to build it right underneath the church. Okay, great. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? All right, let's I'm do ready. it. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. A few days later. Take a screenshot or two from this. Well, that's nice. I like having the tavern. It's nice. It's nice. And this should, in theory, now that we have the tavern, um, should give us a bit more, um, a bit more money, I guess I would imagine. I should see if I can upgrade anything, but I do have the tavern now, which is always a plus. Let's go up. We'll sleep. Um, wait, is there anything else I can do? Let's I want to build some, but we mustn't wait. We can't build it. You can't have. I applaud your. Uh, I suppose. All right, fine. He actually called me out on it. I get it. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. All right, up we go. I will just sleep here until morning.
I wish there was a way to speed this up. Sometimes I don't know if it's just because it's loading or what, but. All right. I don't care about the tournament at the moment. Where's my boy? Is he still up here? Is he asleep? No, nope, everyone's already at work. Good, 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 good. Up we go. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We're making really good income now with the tavern. Over a thousand a day. I like it. Let's see if we can increase that a little more. I want to build something. Certainly. All right. Let's do some improvements to the tavern. Uh, brewery, the tavern yeah. Have its own brewery. Then we'll have fresher ale and fatter profits. Let's go to the site. Hurry up! We gotta, we gotta build the brewery. Brewery. Oh, that lightning was cool. Man, that's quite the hill to walk up for church. All right. We're going to build here? Indeed. All right. Already. I'll just quickly check. Mm. All good. A few days later. Oh, nice. We got enough income now. Taking my screenshots. That's really cool. All right. Well, that's completed. You built yourself a brewery, and from now on, you could be able to brew local beer. Every time a new batch is brewed, you can pick up some from... Drink responsibly. <laughs> Privy Slavic's boar. Nice. Um, all right. Hold on. Let's see. Let's build. To build some. Certainly. Improvements. Tavern. Dice play. I like a game of dice, and so do I. We should have a dice table and invite some players. Maybe I can even win back some of what I'm paying out in wages. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. Okay. At least it's a short walk this time. We're going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. All right, got dice tables. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't win the tourney. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, we're gonna go up, sleep, and save till morning. So we're doing good. And actually, I think we're almost done with this one quest, too. A place called Home. I just gotta renew the church. All right. Well, apparently, I can't sleep any longer than that. All right. I'm going to have to just skip time, I think, because it's too late. And I can't sleep anymore. <clears throat> 
This last hour takes way too long. But it is what it is. All right. Now we can go down and finish up this last thing. I think this is the last of what I have to do. Ow. I wonder if I have enough money, though. I might not. I don't know. Let's look. Oh, should have plenty of caution. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're earning more than enough now. Um, let's see. All right, so this is already built. Everything's built there. Church repairs I still have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Built. Can't be built. Can't be built. 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 Can't be built. Tavern. Traders still costing us money, but whatever. Built. And everything there is built, so we're earning a good bit of money from the tavern. Okay, it really does look like the last thing I have to do is the church. So, where's our... Ah, there he is. Hold still. All right, Marius, let's finish this up. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Um, We've already finished everything successfully. Oh, nice. All that's left let's is the church. Up the church. Hmm. Right. That should do it. We've got everything we need to start building. Come with me. Okay, let's check it out. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? Yep. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. Perfect. Oh, I like those. I like those a lot. Those are neat. Oh, are we all repaired? I don't really know. It doesn't look much different. <laughs> Is it church day? Wait, wait, wait. Let's build. To build something. Certainly. Improvements. To the church. Let's build the church fresco. We should have the church painted. It ought to be grand, with exquisite ornament. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything. I think once we're done with this, we'll be pretty much set. We're going to build here. Yes. Shall we get started? Yeah. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have... Hmm. All right. All good. Curious what the fresh goes are going to be. Now that looks cool. Oh, that is neat. I like that. All right, I think we only have one more thing left to do. Wait, where'd our... Wow, he ran away quick. Hey, we still have one more thing still left to do. <clears throat> Get back up. Marius. I want to build something. Certainly. We're just gonna bring the last improvement to the church. The it's altar. The church had a new altar. It's not the house of God without one. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. Come on. Ah, 
sometimes there's a weird thing where he doesn't get up. So, let's, how, uh, let's see. The village's income is very good. Sir Divish will be pleased. The village is big enough now. Sir Divish can I see go. the church is keeping the rain out at least. We're on the right track. All right. All right. It's good to know. I want to build something. Certainly. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, wait. Back. We've already finished everything successfully. All right. Cool. That's done. We just have to do the it's altar time yet. the church had a new altar. It's not the house of God without one. Hmm. All right. That should do it. We've got everything we need to start building. Come with me. Hurry up, get up. <clears throat> and take my 27k Groshen out of there now. Actually, I guess I shouldn't. Hold on. I better put that back in because watch it actually air out. Because I don't have the Groshen in there. It, it's a possibility. All right. All right, let's We're gonna finish this up. Yes. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do I'm it. Ready. I'll just quickly check again. That we hmm. We've still got the means. All right, let's finish it up. We got the altar in place. That looks really cool. We got the full altar. Our church is done! I think that should finish the quest, shouldn't it? Inform Sir Divish that Privy Slavitz has been renewed. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Oh, look, it's Henry and Sir Divish. Oh, that that's, that's actually really cool. Okay. All right, all right. Um, whoa, what is this? Wow, that's a lot of Groshen for an indulgence. No wonder Jan Hus was preaching against this. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I can take my Groshen back out because there's nothing left for me really to do. We're all set and we'll be earning almost 1,500 Groshen a day from here. Ooh. Oh, wait, there's an activity. I have to make some judgment. I'm just going to live in Privy Slavits now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make a judgment. Rook and Lumir, a known pair of troublemakers. Fighting again, are you? What's it this time? Rook is a filthy, thieving magpie. This bastard is a fucking liar. No, you can insult each other in your own time, not mine. What happened? As you know, Master Bailiff, I've got a daughter, and this fu- Ah. Uh, Rook here has a son, and like you'd expect, the son is as much of a beast as his old man. He put a belly on my girl, and then turned his back on her. A likely tale, you lying scoundrel. We're a decent, honest family, sir. But that daughter of his, Nothing but a whore she is. She seduced my son. And what's more, this thieving bastard stole my cow, too. Enough swearing. One at a time, and settle down. What's this about stealing a cow? When that no-good son of his wouldn't do the right thing by my daughter, Rook here agreed in the end to give me a cow as compensation for her honor. And I did! Only then, that slut ran off with some minstrel. Who has the honor in that? And besides, it could be anyone's brat she's carrying. Tell me more about your daughter. <coughs> she is a picture, and a good lass. Though a little flighty. She had her head turned by that cotscomb, and he put her in the family way. And then he wouldn't marry her. And who else would take her with a youngster? So we agreed on a cow in compensation. That much is true. Only, I'm sure you'll agree, Master Bailiff, where there's no honor to lose, there's nothing to compensate. A girl that runs off with some wandering jester. 
What could she do when she couldn't show her face in public? That's what you paid for. What about this son of yours? Well, he ain't the brightest star in the sky, but he's a kind soul and a good worker. That slut of a daughter of Lumia's got him all worked up, got herself pregnant, and then broke his heart. I talked him out of marrying her myself, because I'd rather give this bastard my best cow than my son. I won't listen to this. That boy is a simpleton and a brute. And for sure, my daughter never went with him of her own free will. I wanted no more to do with Lumir or his damned daughter, so I agreed to the compensation instead of marriage. And no sooner was the deal done than the slut ran off. And I want <coughs> my cow back. You'll get nothing. A deal is a deal. It's your fault I've lost my one and only daughter. Mm. This is actually a pretty hard one, to be honest. Um, hmm. I've heard enough to know how things really stand. I'm going to give it back, especially if it was compensation. If she already ran off, that's it. Girl ran off, so there's no question of compensation for lost honor. The cow is rooks. Thank you, sir. I never doubted your wisdom. You call that justice? I won't stay another minute in a village where the bailiff takes a hand in daylight robbery. Well, that's fine, I guess. Still. Cool. All right, I gotta go talk to <coughs> Sir Divish. <coughs> We're gonna finish up a place called home, and then we'll uh, start working on something else, I guess. It's really cool, though. I, I really like that. Or Sir Divish. Can't even tell where he is anymore. Alright, must be up here. Oh, Sir Divish. Wait a minute. Hi. Sir Divish, I finished the assignment you gave me. Pribis Labitz is up and running once more and making money. And the church is as good as new. Indeed? That's excellent news. I can't wait to see it for myself. Of course. We can go right away. God be with you. Bailiff ensured the renewal of Privy Slavitz. Got the... A place Welcome called... to Privy Slavitz. <clears throat> well, now. I've heard some reports. But to see it with my own two eyes. Beautiful. Me and Marius did our best. As you saw on the way here, the village is prospering. Trade is booming. And the villagers are doing well. I saw the new buildings as we were riding in. You've both done a magnificent job. I owe you my gratitude and commendation. Thank you, sir. How did you manage it so quickly? We had to clear the woods and the ruins of the former buildings. I arranged supplies of building materials and victuals from traders nearby. Thanks to which we were able to build what you see here today. And the church here has become the dominant feature of the whole village. I'm especially proud of our church. Indeed, you have plenty to be proud of. Thank you both. I can say wholeheartedly that you have not disappointed me. On the contrary, you have exceeded my expectations. It's been an honor. I quite concur. Master Marius, I'd like you to stay on in the village. As soon as things have settled in the province, we can begin with the expansion as planned. As you wish, my lord. As for you, Henry, as I promised, you shall continue to have the income from the village, as well as the bailiff's office. Thank you, my lord. I thank you, Henry. Few could manage what the two of you have achieved here. That's actually really cool. I like that. For a DLC, it really, there's not much to it other than making a few small decisions and... <clears throat> <clears throat> really farming money. That is the the entirety of of this. Oh, we have a priest. Oh, that's nice. Um, ah, that's a really big indulgence. You know what? 
Uh, I'm not going to pay it. I'll wait. Um, but still, it is what it is. It's it's good. I like it. It was interesting, especially considering all the DLC uh, were just overall very good. I don't know. Like I don't rem like when I got it. Um, <clears throat> it didn't cost much. I feel like it comes with most editions now. So it's kind of like, eh, it's, you don't lose anything really from, from doing it. So I feel like we're okay. Let's look at our skills here. What maintenance went up. All right. What do we got here? <clears throat> oh, one plus one charisma. Does not, for every item you're wearing that, that you've repaired yourself. Oh, black. Weapons you repair with a repair kit have a stronger attack until they get too damaged. All right, we'll do that one. That seems good. I like that. Otherwise, village is good. I'm going to make sure I have all the money out of it. There's our chimney, by the way. That's kind of neat. All right. Make sure I have any money. 1.4K Groshen. Thank you so much. I'll be back some other time. Um, at least I'll have some money going forward. All right, so let's do this first. I really want to work on, as I'm looking through my quest, right? Um, <laughs> let's see. Aquarius, we could find. Man of the Cloth. Get the Necronomicon. Oh, my goodness. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> all right. Other thing I want to do is I want to come up here and get my items from my chest. All right. Let's work on Masquerade. I think that'll be a good place. So... In order to do that, the best to do, let's go over to Ujits. Cause I think this is the quest I can do next. Like I I want to continue the main quest because I realize how far um <coughs> excuse me, how far back. I really am on the main quest. Like it, it's really funny. I looked up and I'm not even halfway. I thought it was way, way closer towards the end of the game, and I'm really not. Um, though, like I said, I've been, ouch, I've been doing mostly. Ugh, might have knocked myself out there for a minute. Ugh, that hurt. Um, all the side quest. I really wanted to do. All the side quests. Yeah. Before I jump. Okay. Apparently my horse is not going to do yeah. that. I thought this was the right road. It was not. really shouldn't have to worry about money anymore especially with the town generating the money that it has so we should be good there There's the camp. All right. 
I don't think there's anyone else here. Doesn't look like it anyway. I should eat some food though, because I'm always hungry. Let's see. One of these guys. Oh, good. This guy does have a closed helm. Nice. All right. So let's <clears throat> move this to my horse. This and this and this. Um. <laughs> I'm just like getting rid of the item, not getting rid of them, putting them on my horse. There we go. Those are things I could sell later. And I'm definitely keeping the stuff that's somewhat broken for the quest, so that way I get the most amount of money. So really all I need is one more helm yet, and then I'll be able to finish this quest up. So that works out really well for me. Let's check the other place. Oh well, look. There's a there's a there's a good gentleman walking right down. You, I should see if I can get him with a bow. What's he doing? Where'd the guy run off to? <clears throat> he might have ran. But where to? Where do you run off to? Right there. Oh. I think I just stabbed him in the... I know I don't really need money anymore, but I'm still greedy. All right. Hey, horse. All right. Let's see where we're going here. All right. Let's go over here. I think this is probably yeah. the best chance I have of getting another closed helm. Oh, it's deer. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having terrible allergies this week. There's a smith anywhere, is there? No. It's all right. <clears throat> Did 
do 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 Oh, hi, gents. How are you? Good, I hope. Ouch. Do any of you have closed helms, though? Oh, yeah, they do. Where's the other one? Oh, he already died. Nice. Eh. Uh, <clears throat> mercy kill. I want all of your loot, though. Because I'm going to sell it. Once I have it, though. Wooden cumin shield. Hungarian saber. Yes, you're good puppy. Yeah, I'll praise There's you. There's the good doggy. That's my boy. All right. Okay, those are all there. Sort. Two hundred. Oh, actually, um, so this one needs to move to my horse. And those three can stay there. All right. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> that works. All right. Back to the inn at the glade. So I can now... Hopefully, maybe finish even Masquerade here. I don't know. All right. I've got all the armor and whatnot, so let's see. That was the elderly prostitute. Jesus, what have you been up to? Oh, who am I supposed to take it to? Good day to you. Yeah, good day to you. All right. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can't handle. <clears throat> Do I have anything I can even sell? He doesn't have a whole lot, so I'll just sell what I have here because I don't need it. Won't be a whole lot of Garoshin, but it'll be a little bit. Looks like he won't take anything else, so that's okay. I don't have to haggle over any of this. All right, here we'll hand over the armor. I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? Oh, 
whole bloody lot. Well then, let's see how you look in it. Oh. Is that it? it it's a bit... Uh, Ordinary? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I got it straight from the fucking humans. Oh, it's not exactly, uh, terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt speckled down. They just don't look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Miramir's described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you... Look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard, and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a human, and he's lived to tell the tell. You can ask him yourself. Nah, what are they now? Oi, Henry! Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? Wow. This guy. I tell you. So, now what? At least I'm wearing my my armor. All right, I gotta find out what a real cumin looks like, huh? Why can I not? There we go. Take it quick before I faint from the stink. They tell me you've seen a lot of cumins. They say you'd recognize one even in the dark. I <coughs> certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair curl. All right. Why not? I got the money. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name anyway? Henry. Hmm. Anyway, not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna when all of a sudden a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We strayed off the path. Couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing with malevolent creatures ranged around it, singing demonic songs. Uh, these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow. Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The big fire! Anyway, as if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? No. They were humans. And a bunch of infants crying and sniffling. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she-devils. We stood there paralyzed with fear until I, and I alone, managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape since that time. I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still under a spell. Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. Listen, Milamir, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. What the hell would you know about it, peasant? I'm from fucking Scallops. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah. Uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. Yeah. Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumors about how frightening the humans look? Oh, the people from around these parts. The Brown, <coughs> the charcoal burner, told me about them. He, he lives in the woods near. Then there's Oliver, the wife of the Talmberg fisherman. And young Vashak, a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he, he saw them too. May the Lord watch over you. Do I have to find all these people? Because that would just be really annoying. Wow, I do. 
Are you serious? All right. Uh, all right. Well, looks like the easiest one to find is this one first. Okay. Didn't realize it was going to be all of this. Yeah. All right, what we'll do is we'll mark this one with an A. So I'm heading the yeah. right way. Through the woods. I'll take the bridge at the very least. Oops, the car, th they're right down here. All right, Bran, wake up. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? They say you know what humans look like. I do. Once, when I was going alone through the dark woods. That's of no interest to me. Ah, uh, but... Look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well, well, they're decked out in raven feathers because... Well, so a black hen would do. But that wouldn't have magical powers. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, he doesn't know anything. <clears throat> get raven feathers. Where am I supposed to get those from? Yeah. I feel like I had some somewhere. I probably could buy them from like any any bookseller Ooh, i found a ow, consolation cross i know there's an achievement for finding all of those as well which is is neat i might have to look that up later ah some bad guys so hey yeah Oh. Actually, there's more of them than I thought. Way more than I thought. Who else is still here? Oh, the one archer. That was easy enough. It wasn't that easy. It was a little, a little harder than I was expecting. But I thought I saw a hunting bow somewhere. 
says I'm not in combat, so does that mean or I'm confused. <laughs> Take all of your stuff, cause I need your money. I actually don't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just wish you would get off of your Hungarian saber. Alright, I think I looted most of the bodies. I'm sure there's someone I'm missing, but that's okay. Alright, let's sort these. I'll sell them next chance I get. My horse overweight. All right, can't carry any more. All right, well. It's all right. We're doing okay. Oh, okay, let's see. I don't know where the nearest merchant is. Maybe we can offload some of this stuff. Maybe even buy buy some raven feathers or something. At least that's the hope, anyway. Yeah. We'll skip t a few hours, because otherwise no one's going to be around to hear me anyway. Fisherman's wife is yeah. over here. Probably inside the house. We'll wait an hour since apparently she's not out yet. Oh, she's still in the house, but she opened the door. God save. How may I help you, good knight? Uh, they say you know about humans. Fangs. They wear wolves' fangs to make themselves invisible in the dark. And they can creep around like beasts of prey as sneaky as death. Mm, that was quick. Fangs. Goodness. Get a hold of some animal teeth. Get wolf fangs. Seriously? This is probably the most annoying quest. The last person is here. I don't. Know. Is there anyone here in town that I can sell stuff to? That trader. Alright, whatever. We'll run out. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
as we run through the fields. Who needs roads? I don't think I can fast travel either, so I'm sort of like, hey, new horsemanship perk. Let's see. Your horse will be extreme. Horse will never throw you outside of combat. That sounds pretty good. I like that. All right. Yeah. Now we just got to find this last person. Whoop. Pretty. I like those. can't get over that, so I'm going to have to... walk around, I guess. So my horse tries to run up everything. Oh, he's inside. He was inside. He's right over here. All right. God be with you. God be with you. Horse riding. Like to show me how me teach you. Oh, I know. I hear you can tell me something about humans. No, sir. M my master would whip me for telling tall tales again. But really, it's all true. I won't hit you. Just tell me, is it the truth? Really, sir. I still see them every time I try to sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So what do the Cumans wear? They wear the skins of dogs hunted down in the night, so no weapon can hurt them. Right. Thanks. Okay. May the Lord watch over you. Let's first up, let's go up to right here somewhere. Um, I guess I could fast travel. Oh, too overloaded to fast travel. All right. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can sell some of my some of my goods. Yeah. That way I can actually fast travel around. But otherwise, we'll see how it goes. Check this merchant first, see what he has, see if he has any money, or can actually buy what we have. You. Good day to you. Let's trade. I would like to sell you some of my stuff, preferably my weapons. All right. Oh, he's got two point, two point something k, two point five k. So that that's he'll be able to at least get a couple things out of me. All right, that's good. Let's check the armor sort. Okay, 
Ooh, mer 30 of those. That's nice. Smoke sausage, 7,000. We're doing good. Uh, get rid of that bandage. Get rid of half of those bandages. Okay. Haggle. Let's talk about, well. We sure can try it. <clears throat> Since it's you. You're a right pinch purse. I sure am. All right, I'll meet his. I knew we'd come to an. All right, let me grab my sidekick here. Goodness, so much. All right. Let's sell the boar meat first, because I think that's near its natural end. Uh, well, he offered me something for it. Good. What if I can get all of his money out of this? I think that's all he has, honestly. Let's talk about the well. All right. All right. Well, at least I sold most of his money. All right. So I got him. Let's check the. Have a look at those melons. Whoa. They make a fine Sir. All right. So what I need for this quest, masquerade, is I need two black feathers, two raven. Oh, raven feathers, wolf fangs, and a dog skin. Do either one of these guys? I hope I can. Let's trade. Ah, uh, he doesn't have anything. I thought he might, but he doesn't. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I can go back to the other merchant. Let me just check the other merchant just to make sure he doesn't have anything. I can always do like a trade off with the stuff that I have. Let's see. Do you have what I'm looking for? Well. <clears throat> Seriously, does no one have what I'm looking for? No. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to think here real quick. Probably the best place I could go... Let's head back to here. Um, actually, we're going to go to Suss Al. There's a quest we can do. I think it's a man of the cloth. I think that would be a good bet. We can at least progress the quest if I talk to the one guy. I could take it back to the bailiff, let him know, and go from there. Monastery doesn't like me very much, but I'm not Catholic. <laughs> if anything, at this time period, I would have followed Jan Hus anyway. 
All right. I think he's in there. What is this quest that we're trying to do? Oh, Aquarius. We're working on Aquarius. Ah. All right. Well, let's see. Find Father Francis and, and ask him about his return. All right. Well, where are we at here? What is this? God be with you. God be with you. Um, do you work with can copper? Make anything out of copper, master? I do a bit of damascene decor sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm looking for someone who could do me some copper sheets. Well, that's pretty rough and ready work. I wouldn't waste my time with it. But go and ask Zach from the craftsman's yard by the monastery. He's brought up all the copper to be had around here anyway. Well. What can you tell me about the blacksmiths here in Sasa? We worked on all Depends that glisters too. You mean. In the town there's Mikesh. He's a decent man and an honest craftsman. And in the yard by the monastery there's Zack. But there's not many good words I can say about him. Tell me something about Mikesh. Like I said, he's an honest craftsman. Which isn't something you can say about every blacksmith in town. What about the monastery blacksmith, Zach? Well, him and me don't exactly see eye to eye. He wanted to buy my business, but I turned him down. Ever since then, he hasn't had a good word to say about me. Fair enough. That will be all. Thank you. Training. Can you show me how to... Certainly. I'd like to hone my... All right. But... <clears throat> I'm now, just paying. Pay close to... Got my maintenance level up. I actually think I'll be able to do even more than that if I do... Um, training. Repair. Can you show me how... Certainly. Master. I want to achieve... All right. But... Now... Mate. I love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Wait, no, I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you! I would like to sell all of this stuff. We'll haggle a little bit. Let's have a word about the... Well, we... I know you can because I just gave you a whole bunch. Since it's you, that's still too... Agree? We're getting there. That's a sum I can... Still got 600 and some. That works out pretty well. Father Francis, I think, is right here. Father, when do you plan to return to St. James? I beg your pardon. Why do you ask, my boy? Your housekeeper, Agnes, is in Ratai and doesn't want to work for anyone else. She's waiting for your return. So she survived. Thank the Lord. I prayed for her and all who suffered, but I'm not going back. Tell her I appreciate her concern, but to look out for herself now. May the Lord watch over you. All right. Well, that's something. He's not going back. Won't be coming back. All right. Father Agnes won't be coming back. Uh, what was the thing? Oh, right, right. You know what? Let's let's go over here. <clears throat> Maybe I can even finish Aquarius. Tell Angus. You know, I looked for that guy forever, and I could not find him for the life of me. And there he was. All right. 
Uh, that's... A person... Uh... <laughs> I just paid 16000 uh for an indulgence so people will like me again. Or at least somewhat like me again, I don't know. What am I doing talking to a pauper like you? Wow. I asked around in Sassau. Father Francis is doing well in Sassau. He has no plans to return to St. James anytime soon. You talk to him? How is he doing? Doesn't he need his cassock fixed? He's always tearing it. There isn't a pew or a step he hasn't tripped over at one time or another. Um, as I said, he's doing just fine. May the Lord watch over you. I feel quite hungry. I feel quite hungry. Mm -hmm. So did that complete that or what? <clears throat> Aquarius, go tell the bailiff. Who to choose? Okay. All right, let's go talk to the bailiff. I think he's upstairs. There's the bailiff. Hi. I know we're not really friends anymore since I've been stealing and looting and well, doing all sorts of stuff. What do you want? I know. I hear you. All right. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. Okay. Is that the end? Did it finish it? Yep, yep, Good that's luck, done. All right. Oh, that's one more quest done. Oh my goodness. Uh, that one's going to be difficult, but it's something we can do. Um, honeyed words. I should look at that one. Masquerade, honeyed words. All right. In any case, I think this is where I'm going to end it for here because it's been fairly long. And uh, I will be back uh, next time with more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Thank you so much, everyone. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.